See good old Jeff out there prepping the track. It's about an hour before race time, so it looks like he's gonna get some water in it and they start getting it packed in. Be looking pretty good. And it got some awesome timing. We got some tech to uh, check out. So this is, I believe, our final points race of the season. I believe that's what I saw. Uh, they posted, the track posted on Facebook. So, see not many cars over here. Those are down over here ready for tech. actually come shipped keeps them protected from the dirt and contaminants and all that so they'll peel that off a little bit later on before they actually go out on the track part of the Kenmore team uh, Robles in there <laughs> Another one of our lady racers. And our not even 10 year old back there. Got a few more. So that brings us clear down to this point here. We're kind of hard to tell. Backside of turn three. All that. See the little one there? <laughs> Check out the trailers. That was a good chunk of the cars. It actually looks like we got a pretty good car turnout tonight, actually. So for being just a one-day race, there's a few empty spots, but these will me, these all have cars in them when they get done tech. A couple Kenmore cars. I think those are both the IMCAs. So I think that's the... Is it brothers or is it father's son? Comment down below who all is racing within that team. Okay, comment down below. Let me know who, that, who all is racing in that team. Is it brothers, father, son? <laughs> I can hear him even this far away. Got a couple more coming in. A couple more down over there. going up here and seeing how the track's looking after you put some water on it. Curious if he actually goes and grates the back of these because there's never a whole lot of weed growth. I would think that he would looking at the tire tracks. 
this goes to show the quality work that he does so that it makes it easier for the cars to get back out without having a bunch of stuff tangled up in them. Big shout out to Jeff. <laughs> the awesome work that he does with this track. I can honestly say I've been volunteering here for over 20 years. I started volunteering here in the late 90s. And I can honestly say, this is honestly the best this track has been doing that I can remember. So, and I honestly all think it's because he's got the heart and soul for dirt racing. And that's what dirt tracking needs. So, until next time, guys, keep them shining side up. Stay tuned for the hot laps and for the races to come for the week. Until next time, catch you later.